We're coming to you from one of the lesser known islands in the Pacific, but for a squad of soldiers, it's home for a six month deployment. Welcome to this edition of Pacific Magazine. I'm Amy Forsyth. On this edition of Pacific Magazine, we've caught up with the Civic Action Team on the Republic of Palau, where U.S. Army soldiers are providing needed construction help, hosting community engagement events, and maintaining World War II monuments at one of the most remote islands in the Pacific. Palau is an island country with a population of less than 20,000 people. It contains approximately 500 islands, which form the western chain of the Carolina Islands in Micronesia. Palau was the backdrop for the mega-hit show Survivor in season 10, airing in 2005. And it's seen a spike in tourism ever since. Famous for its epic scuba diving and eco-tourism, nearly 200,000 people visited Palau in 2015. Tourists come from all over the world, but draws mostly from China, Japan, and Taiwan. The CAT mission originally began in 1969 with a team of Seabees and shortly after became a tri-service effort with U.S. Army engineers, Navy Seabees and Air Force Red Horse teams rotating every six months, maintaining a positive presence on the island. Here at Camp Katu is where the team lives. It's just outside town near the National Airport. It's from here they run their daily operations and prepare for missions. U.S. Army engineers on a six-month deployment as a civic action team known as CAT are providing apprenticeship training and construction help on the tiny island nation of Palau. They're working hand-in-hand -hand with locals to prepare them for jobs with specific skill sets. We actually have apprentices. We went through a program in Guam that helped us to be able to teach. Like I've had apprentices in the civilian world, but that, that part right there helped me out as far as being able to train other soldiers or, or apprentices, but we actually have apprentices that work underneath us that we're actually able to guide and mentor. Roe and other soldiers are providing basic construction and engineering help where they can, like erecting this fence along a busy road. As school kids play here, sometimes their balls would end up going in the street, but not anymore thanks to this new fence. This mission began in 1969 and has evolved to where the teams have become a beloved part of the community. It's a good feeling knowing, um, you know, waking up and knowing that you're going to be able to make a positive impact. It's been fun. It's, it's I mean, it's a, a fun challenge, we'll say that, because, uh, you know, you run into some things and you think about it for a minute and it clicks and you're like, oh, I can make it work like this. The CAT mission in Palau is shared by Army engineers, Navy Seabees, and Air Force Red Horse units. Members usually come away with more hands-on experience, first-hand interactions with locals, and a great sense of pride and accomplishment. The mission here is threefold, to provide a continuous favorable military presence, assist and train local population in general engineering, and provide basic disaster relief if needed. I'm here with the officer in charge of the CAT mission Palau, First Lieutenant Brianna Davis. And she is in charge of the day-to-day -day operations here with her squad. So how's this experience been so far? Well, I have to say, Amy, it's been really, really rewarding. Um, from the first week we were here, the Palauan people opened their arms to us um, and really made us feel at home right, right away. So um, I couldn't ask for more in a foreign country. And uh, the team of soldiers that I was able to pick is, you know, beyond the best. So I feel lucky to have them here with me. And I really think it's just surpassed any expectations. Great. Well, we were able to attend the health fair that you implemented in this particular program, the first of its kind. You had a great turnout, too. Yeah, that's right. So one of our key tasks here is the medical um, outreach program. So we sort of um, combined that with our community outreach and turned it into this health fair idea. So the local clinics and entities here um, came to the health fair, set up different screening booths, and uh, our doc helped. So they screened for things like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, some, some of the main diseases that plague Palau right now. Members of the Civic Action Team also hosted booths about nutrition and um, workout advice and to, you know, educate people and, and let them know what they can do to really change things. Soldiers based at Schofield Barracks in Hawaii are on deployment to a remote island in the Pacific. The Civic Action Team, known as CAT, 
is providing medical outreach, community support, and apprenticeship training as part of one of the Department of Defense's longest standing missions. So the ultimate goal of our medical program and our community relations program here in Palau is to get people active. Davis and her team of soldiers from the 84th Engineer Battalion are on a six-month rotation to further a positive U.S. presence on the island nation of Palau. Today, they're hosting a community health fair at the local college in the capital city of Karor. This was something that we kind of dreamt up uh, with the idea that we could really bring the accessibility to Karor, to the people, and, um, and make it an event that people remember and, and spur some change. We had a big turnout uh, for this health fair, and uh, I know a lot of people are still requesting for it, and hopefully we can have more of that for the community. The CAT mission was started in 1969 and has had some kind of ongoing presence over the last 45 years. Staff Sergeant Bankhead is on his second rotation and has seen some locals get more involved in sports and fitness since his last rotation a year ago. There's a lot more people, you know, on camp at the gym, you know, at the marathons, at these health events, you know, at our workout sessions. So it's improving the people as a whole and we get to grab the youth while they're young and teach them these, these positive traits. So this location, it's a community asset that we are utilizing to bring people together and give them the tools they need to stay fit and healthy. The soldiers are on Palau conducting other medical outreach and community relations projects until a Navy CB unit rotates in to replace them in February. Lieutenant Davis meets regularly with civic leaders to best determine local needs and how the CAT mission can help communities on Palau. Team members are encouraged to get involved in community events like hosting a weekly radio show by playing their favorite music and talking about CAT community engagements. Lieutenant Davis also volunteers by teaching kids how to swim at the public pool. In addition to the community relations and construction projects, the soldiers are in charge of the upkeep of World War II monuments on the island of Peleliu, where U.S. Marines fought a bitter battle during World War II. The Civic Action Team from Palau makes the hour-long boat ride over crystal clear blue waters and shallow channels to the tiny island of Peleliu to maintain several U.S. and Japanese World War II monuments at the sites where Marines and soldiers died in 1944. The team is responsible for cutting the brush and basic upkeep of the markers. We're doing a deck reconstruction for a memorial at the top of Bloody Nose Ridge here in Peleliu for uh, Major Lee Jackson. A World War II veteran and uh, pretty much the weather got to it. It was uh, inaccessible by the tourists and the locals. So we're coming out here in the rain and we're, we're uh, patching it up. The island of Peleliu is a thousand miles south of Japan and 600 miles east of the Philippines. The Battle of Peleliu resulted in the highest casualty rate of any amphibious assault in American history. Of the nearly 30,000 U.S. Marines and infantry troops involved in the three-month battle, 3,000 were killed and 10,000 were wounded. Nearly 10,000 Japanese soldiers were killed and they lost possession of the island that was a target for the strategic airfield. Today, it's home to about 400 permanent residents and draws scuba divers from around the world. The monuments and battle relics draw thousands of Japanese visitors every year, so it's an important contribution by the CAT mission. It's also important for the tourism economy to maintain those public areas, explains a Peleliu government official. The CAT team, uh, not only do they come and help maintain, but they educate and they, they, uh, they show American generosity, if you ask me. The soldiers are on a six-month deployment and home-based on the island nation of Palau. The CAT mission continues after nearly 45 years as one of the Department of Defense's longest-running programs in the Pacific. Lieutenant Davis and her team will be here through the holidays and report back to Schofield Barracks in February. Thanks for watching this edition of Pacific Magazine. Reporting from Camp Katu in the Republic of Palau, I'm Amy Forsyth.